Oh, home studio audio. You got EQ, compression, de-essing, noise removal. It can be dang scary. And all of us voice actors and podcasters want our audio to sound amazing and hopefully never disqualify us from a gig, right? Let's meet Anxious Andy. Uh, hi there. <laughs> Anxious Andy's got his first ever microphone. He's got some acoustic blankets he set up around him. He can do some basic editing. But does his audio actually sound professional? Um, I, I think so. I, I, I mean, I just use these vocal and, and voiceover presets on all my auditions because, hey, it's for voice, right? Uh, uh, this sounds good, right? Anxious Andy doing a test testing. One, two, three. Oh, I'm afraid not, Andy. That actually sounds overly processed. But don't worry. This course teaches you how to do smooth and transparent processing. That actually sounds great. And not like it's been, you know, thrown through a meat grinder. Let's see what professional Paul is up to. End take. Oh, hey there. <laughs> you caught me recording my uh, 97th voiceover project of the day. Wow, that's a really nice looking studio you got there, Paul. Oh, why yes, I've been using it for many years and make well over six figures. <laughs> oh my, was, was that a humble brag? Uh, sure. Well, Jordan, I have to say that none of my clients have ever complained about my audio, so I'm pretty sure it's, um, perfect. You know, I bet it does sound pretty good, Paul, but I have to tell you, after analyzing the audio of many established pros like yourself, there's always been ways to significantly improve their audio, whether it's with EQ, experimenting and finding the best microphone position, DSing harsh sibilance, and more. So you're telling me that I can make my audio even more perfect than perfect? Well, rather than striving for perfection, we should always be finding ways to improve our home studio quality. It only makes us more valuable, right? Let's see how Anxious Andy is doing. Oh man, I, I never realized how bad these presets sound. I mean, I even use some settings that a, an expert on YouTube uses on his voice. <laughs> Look, I totally get it, Andy, but the problem with using a setting that may sound great on someone else's voice is that it usually won't sound so great on your voice, on your microphone, and in your recording space. Uh, you're right. So I need to make audio presets that are customized just for my voice. But, but dude, I, I have no idea what any of these knobs do. Like, what the heck is a ratio? Dude, I know, words like ratio and frequency don't really sound that fun, and when taught the wrong way, can be really boring. But in this course, you'll easily learn step by step how to use that weird ratio knob, find and remove problems in your audio, how to use EQ like a ninja, and so much more, all in a super fun and engaging way. Okay, okay, but wait, how do, how do I trust my ears? I, I don't even know what to listen for. Don't worry, we all gotta start somewhere. While we're sharpening your ears, we'll also be using really cool tools to help you visually see what's going on with your audio. And by the end, you'll have designed your own killer preset. <clears throat> hey Jordan, I work using Adobe Audition, but sometimes use Twisted Wave, because I can. Is this course only for one recording software? Yeah, I'm afraid you're gonna have to have Pro Tools for this course, I'm sorry. Just kidding, that would be stupid. Whether you're using Reaper on a PC or Twisted Wave on a Mac, we'll actually all be working out of the exact same interface. Oh, cool! Uh, but is this course expensive? Actually, the cost of this course can be paid for with one or two voiceover gigs. And hey, it's a business investment. And once you've taken your audio to the next level, you really stand out above the sea of mediocre and poor audio out there. Oh, professional Paul likes the sound of that. Uh, why are you talking in the third person? The Audio Ninja Masterclass, from just a home studio into a pro studio.